what is the most important thing you can do to heal your Crohn's disease? And as you watch this video, I bet you're asking yourself, why should I listen to this guy? What does he know? Um, I've tried everything under the sun. My name is Mike the Heal Your Gut Guy. I did the drugs, I did the diets, I did supplements, and nothing worked until I used something called German New Medicine, which is the only thing that gets to the root cause of Crohn's disease. And that is the most important thing you can do with, with Crohn's disease is get to the root cause. We all know modern medicine likes to cover up the symptoms with medications and you know holistic med medicine and diets you know these things are good too but even these things are they're not getting to the root cause of the problem so guys as you watch this video what I want you to do is leave a comment down below hit the like button because I'm gonna share with you the root cause and what you need to do to heal your Crohn's for good hit the like button and leave a comment what are you dealing with what are issues what are your issues i read all of my comments it helps me make better content to serve you guys to help um, the best way for me to help you to give you value is to see where you are coming from how i can better communicate to you i know what you need to hear to fix you but i, I need to have a conversation with you i need to know where you're coming from i know how to fix you it's very straightforward. This is a science, but, but I, need, I need to communicate with you guys and I, and I wanna hear your stories. I wanna know what you're going through. And there's another reason to do this. You need to do this because this can help save someone's life. The more comments this video gets, the more likes and engagement this video gets from you, the more it will be promoted on the algorithm and it can save somebody's life. Crohn's is nothing to joke about i have seen people do the holistic stuff and i've seen people take drugs and sadly they can they pass away from crohn's disease and it is very easy to fix when you understand the root cause now i want to share with you what the root cause is but as you watch this video think about what makes you angry what were you ang what are you angry about now? What were you angry about when your symptoms first started? I want to share the root cause with you now, but I will scare you away if I share with you what the root cause is. You won't believe it. It's it's so out there. I didn't believe it when I was first told. I actually got angry at the person who who told me what it was and um, so cuz it wasn't explained very well. Um but in order to understand what the root cause is, you have to understand what Crohn's disease is. And that sounds very straightforward, but one of the big reasons that modern medicine and holistic medicine struggles with Crohn's disease is they don't know what it is and they can barely agree on what the word Crohn's disease means. And so, Let's, let's get back to the origins of Crohn's disease really quick. Uh, Crohn's disease was discovered by Dr. Burrell Crohn's. Uh, he was a, a doctor in the turn of the century. Uh, he was actually very popular. Uh, the, the, one of the presidents um, after the World War II had a lot of digestive issues and he was kind of this celebrity and he was helping him out. And, and this is when the instruments become, became sophisticated enough where we could actually see inside the small intestine. So they started to discover inflammation inside the small intestine. And so he, he was like a superstar. He was like a celebrity in the gastrointestinal community. He was like Dr. Oz, I guess you could say. And, and so what he would see is he would see parts of the small, this is the colon, this is the small intestine, this is the stomach, it comes into, you know, you, we're, pretend that's transparent. It comes into the small intestine. This is the duodenum, um, duodenum, and then ileum. First part of the small intestine, the second part of the small intestine, then it goes into the colon. So, you know, essentially, he was, what he was seeing is random parts of the intestines were inflamed. 
and what he called it and what he wanted to, every, the community to call it is um, if the second part of the, the small intestine was inflamed, you call it ileitis. This is the ilium and it's inflamed. Itis means inflammation in Latin. Ilium, you know, they just, they just give these things names. Ilium is inflamed. He's just describing what he sees. It's, it's literally that simple. Um, if the Jewy genome was inflamed, Jewy geniitis, the Jewy genome is inflamed. If the Dewey genome is inflamed, the first part of the small intestine, you call it Dewey deniitis. If the colon is inflamed, you call it colitis. The colon is inflamed, colitis. Very simple, very straightforward. But um, the gastroenterology, the GI community were filled with a bunch of fanboys. I, it's very sh strange and peculiar. I don't, I don't really understand it, where, the, where they got this. But Dr. Burrell Crohn's is like, guys, 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 please do not call this Crohn's disease. It's just going to cause mass confusion down the line. And that's what it did. They, they called this regional inf they, regional regional inflammation of the small intestine. That's essentially what he wanted to call it because that's what he was seeing. But no, it somehow got the name Crohn's disease despite him protesting that. And then somewhere in the 70s or the 80s, the term Crohn's disease turned into inflammation anywhere from mouth to butthole. But we don't use the, 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 the term doesn't get used like that. Because if someone has inflammation in their stomach and then inflammation in their colon, like that fits the description, but no one, no one gets diagnosed with Crohn's when, when they have symptoms like that. Now, people usually get diagnosed with Crohn's when they have inflammation in the small intestine and they have other digestive issues occurring. And it just depends on your GI doctor. It depends on his educational background. It depends on his practice. It depends on what side of the bed he wakes up on. Um, it, it, it's a mess. And I think, you know, you're doing your own research. You, I think you understand that it's a mess. You know, I, I bet most GI doctors don't even know who Dr. Burrell Crohn's is. But this is the state of things. And when I say Crohn's, I don't even like the word Crohn's disease because it's so confusing. You have no idea what I'm talking about. But people with Crohn's disease, the majority of you are dealing with inflammation in the small intestine, which is causing diarrhea. It's causing uh, pain. And for some of you, blood and mucus in your stools. So guys, I know exactly what you need to hear to heal. Uh, the best way to get better, I, I want you to think about right now what you would be doing in your life. What would you be doing like right now if you didn't, weren't suffering from gut pain and diarrhea and you had your healthy body back? You were a healthy weight. I used to be, I was 155 pounds for, for years, even on perfect diets. You know, I was so skinny. I couldn't get a girlfriend. Um, you know, I couldn't, I, I couldn't do the things that I want. And in, in, in my whole 20s, you know, I spent thousands of dollars trying different remedies when my friends and family were out having fun, traveling, working on their career, whatever it is that they wanted to do. Think about how much value Crohn's has robbed from you. Now, if you want to get better as fast as possible, the best way for you to do this is to work with me and my team. I have something called the Rapid Gut Healing Program, and it comes with over 20 hours of educational videos. It comes with a private Facebook group where I answer all of your questions every single day, and my coaches do as well. My coaches, they've used German New Medicine. Uh, you know, they know they, they've suffered from gut issues themselves. Most gastrointestinal um, doctors never dealt with gut issues themselves. It's very hard to understand what's going on if you haven't dealt with it yourself. But the biggest perk of this program is that four, four, three or four times a week, you can get on a live Q&A call with us on a, on a Zoom meeting, get a, open up your video chat if you want, or just talk on the audio, whatever it is you want to do, how you want to, it's comfortable for you to communicate with us, and we'll answer all your questions and guide you to getting better. 
and it is an insane value. You can learn more about the details that are in the description below, but let's get back to the video. So if Crohn's, it's, it's original, so its original definition is inflammation of the small, of the small intestine. And even this description doesn't tell us what Crohn's disease is. There's, there's actually other things going on. But, we, but in order for us to go dive even further, we need to understand what inflammation is. Because in the modern medicine community, community and even in the holistic community, inflammation is kind of seen as a cancer. Like, oh, this is inflamed, we need to cut it out. It's broken, it's done. Inflammation is bad. We need to eat anti-inflammatory foods. We need to take anti-inflammatory drugs. Inflammation is bad. But at the same time, we're using, we're using terminology like, I need to heal my gut. But the funny thing is, if you look up inflammation in the dictionary, inflammation is the body's response to injury. At the end of the day, only your cells can stitch you back together. Your doctor can do surgeries and stuff and give you medications which can assist this process if done correctly, but the only thing that can stitch these cells back together is your own cells, which is guided by your brain, this little thing right here, which is guided by your brain. So the question isn't, how do I get rid of the inflammation? Well, that, that is the question. But the more important question is, what is causing injury in your gut? Now, the first thing people think is, oh, bad foods. Oh, I'm eating bad foods. Foods, what foods do I need to eat? What foods do I need to avoid to heal my gut, to make my gut whole again? Um, and I've worked with a lot of people with diets and it is good to eat healthy foods, but diets can actually make it worse because it changes your perception of the foods. And remember, your brain controls your whole body. This, is, and this isn't just me making up theories, guys. This, this is all confirmed by Dr. Hammer, the founder of German New Medicine. He was a very successful doctor. He had like a 90, 90, 95% success rate with like terminal cancer. He, he was brilliant. He was genius, and it's because he understood what was going on behind the scenes. And so, at first you think, oh, it's, it's this food, it's that food. And so what, what Dr. Hammer found is if someone had colitis or, or Crohn's, if someone had Crohn's disease, there would be a ring in their brain in a very specific location 100% of the time. And he discovered that these rings are caused by conflict shocks, stressful events that catch us off guard. And so think about it, this stress enters our lives, it's a threat to our survival, and so what our body does is it puts an organ into overdrive to help us overcome this, this event that's, that's threatening us. And our survival tools are our organs. So this stressful thing happens to you, and your, your subconscious mind, your brain makes a split second decision. Okay, what do I put into overdrive to help us survive this? And so for you, it chose the gut. And the type of conflict that Dr. Hammer saw, you know, people who were suffering from small intestine inflammation, it was indigestible anger. That's why I was asking you, what makes you angry? And at first I couldn't really think about anything off the top of my head, but I was like, wow, I'm angry about a lot of things. I program stuff on the computer, so I'm always angry at the computer. You know, uh, my initial, con I was ang always angry at my parents and authority figures and teachers and going to school and society. I was angry at the red lights and the green light for going red on me. You know, while I was driving, I was angry at slow drivers. I mean, I was angry at everything. Angry with myself. As I started to look for these things, I realized, wow, I'm like angry at the world. But probably the biggest thing, my, my Crohn's disease started to get bad in, in college because this is when I started to go out into the dating world. I started to pursue women. I was trying to digest women and I was angry about it because 
nothing I was doing was seeming to work. You know, I was very skinny, I had a lot of acne, you know, I didn't have the best chances there to attract a good mate. And so I, I was just obsessed with, um, you know, becoming attractive and attracting a woman. And, and so what my body was doing to try to help me digest women or digest female behavior is um, developing extra gut cells. Developing gross. Okay, like these are physical cells. And I know that might sound crazy, but what I want you to do, so as you, as you watch this video or as you go away from this video in this, what you're going to see, and when you go look at your lab reports, you're gonna see thickening of the intestinal walls. You're gonna see polyps and gross on your lab reports. And these are the extra cells. These extra cells, they have a purpose. Your body put them there for a purpose. They're gonna help you digest and absorb this hard to digest thing in your life. For me, it was women and many other things, probably getting the highest score on Pokemon or something like that. I was obsessed with video games. There was many things that, um, and I'm, you know, I'm still working through some of them, but uh, for the most, so what happens when the conflict gets resolved, the body goes, I don't need these gut cells anymore, let's get rid of them. So for example, let's say I find a girlfriend and then the conflict gets resolved. All right, I have a girlfriend. I don't gotta obsess about this anymore. Awesome. The body goes, okay, we don't need these extra gut cells anymore, and it starts to get rid of them. So when you're removing physical flesh from the body, you're going to get diarrhea, blood, and mucus, and pain. It's painful to remove physical flesh from your body. And then when those gut cells are removed, the symptoms stop, and life goes back to normal. But what happens three months later when you're in the relationship and you don't know how, I, I didn't know how to manage the relationship correctly or keep the woman attracted to me, then I would run into relationship issues and I had to digest women all over again. So the body goes, okay, all right, we need to develop ex more extra gut cells. So, or, oh, we need, oh, we, we shouldn't have gotten rid of those extra, stop, hold, stop it. We need to get those extra gut cells back here and the process just goes back and forth, back and forth with each new woman that comes into my life, back and forth, back and forth. And at this time I'm blaming food, oh this isn't safe, that food isn't safe, whereas the whole time the majority of my symptoms are actually from you know, my relationship issues and, and, and probably other things. So I was angry at everything. So this is why like, why can others eat normal foods and you can't? Why could you eat these foods before, but you can't now? When you resolve these conflicts, it doesn't matter what you eat, it's gonna come out as diarrhea at the other end. But you need to know that this process is going on so you don't start demonizing foods. This is why this knowledge is so important. It's important because you're going to be reading things, your GI doctor is going to be telling you stuff, and it's going to be harmful to you. Because I went down the holistic route, and it is good to eat healthy, but if you eat healthy and you start blaming all these other foods, your gut starts to perceive those foods as hard to digest. And then, oh, 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 that's hard, oh, milk, baby foods, hard to digest, oh, 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 oh. Develop extra gut cells. Let's develop extra gut cells to digest frickin' baby food. It's the easiest to digest food in the world. And then, once the baby food leaves your system, milk leaves your system, the body goes, okay, I don't need these extra gut cells, and it gets rid of them, and you get diarrhea. And it goes on and on and on like that forever until you stop perceiving these foods as hard to digest. And you get your emotional issues under control. So, what is the most important part of addressing your Crohn's disease? It's protecting yourself from the model that your genes are causing it or that food's causing it. It's understanding that indigestible anger, what makes you angry, that is the, getting your indigestible anger under control. And so now your next question is going to be, 
okay, now that I know that my anger is causing my Crohn's disease, what do I do to get rid of my anger? And my question to you is, it depends. I, this is where the rapid gut healing program becomes important. Everyone's different. Everyone's in a different situation. Um, I, I, I have videos inside my rapid gut healing program where I go over uh, popular conflicts and how to go through them, um, but only you, only your brain knows the correct answers to your conflicts. All I can do is help guide you, but I, I, I have to talk to you to guide you. And my, and my coaches as well, one of my coaches is a hypnotist, so he's really good at helping you change your perspective on some of these things. Uh, you know, I have a lot of educational videos on how your mind works because a lot of us, you know, we have this uh, amazing machine, our brain, that does stuff for us. But if we don't know how to use it, it can do very dumb things and we end up with these diseases and stuff like that. So in my rapid gut healing program, you can talk to me on a weekly basis. You can text with me, you know, in the, in, inside the Facebook group on a daily basis and you know, get better as fast as possible. You know, how much value do you think, you know, most people are out of work because you know, of their gut issues. You know, I, I couldn't advance in my career because of my gut issues and because I was so obsessed with this and pouring every last ounce of energy into this. Think about how much value getting your gut health under control can bring to you. Um, but if you, you know, don't have access to the money right now, you can't buy the rapid gut healing program right now. I understand I have a 30 day free program in the description below. So uh, please go down there and watch the video on how to do the free 30 day plan. Or if you're ready right now, um, you know, you need to do this. I've seen people pass away from Crohn's disease just because they didn't understand the root cause. And this is after doing everything that their doctor told them, everything their holistic people tell them, and they pass away because they, they were just totally neglected the root cause. They had t horrible anger issues. I, 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 you know, our customer service, you know, answering emails, there, there's a pattern. I know when someone has Crohn's disease, they, they're really angry. I didn't answer them back quickly enough, you know, stuff like that. So what you need to do is go down, join the Rapid Gut Healing Program. It has a three-month... Um, refund guarantee and you can get better because all you need to do is address the root cause that's all you need to do to get better my name is Mike the Heal Your Gut Guy thank you for watching I'll talk to you later hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and you'll be able to see my life-changing videos come up I come up with videos just about every day now so thank you for watching bye bye